help getting paid? Listen, if you need help getting paid, you're in the right place. You know what I mean? And the most special thing about this getting paid thing is you can only get paid tomorrow for the work that you put in today. You know what I mean? So let's review that. How's everybody doing today? If you don't know me, my name is Kion Church. I'm your new in-home healthcare guy. Absolutely. Listen, if you're here with me live, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know what I mean? Right in the comments. Let me know, you know what I mean, where we at with you today. All right? So look, what do I do? I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. So that's really a beautiful thing all in itself. You know what I mean? Uh, Medicaid has found a way to help their clients. Uh, I'm going to guess, I'm at my, you know, in like the best way possible. See, I'm going to keep it funky with you. I'm going to tell you the whole story. And we, we're going to run it all the way back. Like, you know. People say, KC, how can you get a person paid? Like, how does that even happen? All right. Reliable Aid Inc. is a Medicaid service provider. So what do we do? We provide service to all the Medicaid clients, all the members that, you know, that, that need uh, services, in-home, daily health care services. They call companies like us Reliable Aid Inc. You know what I mean? Like, we are the Delaware's premier company. So, you know, they calling me a lot. You know what I mean? So what I'm here to do is to guide you and help you get paid. So what I do is once Medicaid lets me know or once you let me know, say, hey, KC, you know, my mother's in the program. My father's in the program. We need a little help. I want to be the aide. What do I do? I contact the, uh, uh, the caseworker, social manager, whatever have you. And I say, hey, they want to acquire reliable aid, you know, our services. And then what I do is I hire you. Instead of sending somebody else into the house that your mother doesn't know, that your father doesn't know, I send the most reliable person that they do know and love and, you know, probably been in love with for years. That's you. <laughs> That's you, homeboy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you into the house because you're already in the house. I'm going to keep it funky with you. You're already in the house. I I'll get you to fill out an application. You know what I mean? You could work for me and I'll pay you. You know what I mean? It's no need of me paying somebody else to come into your mother's house and you're there every day. You know, hey, it's a wonderful thing to even have help. You know what I mean? Like, like you are a great person. It's a wonderful thing to even have you in their life because a lot of people don't have nobody. You know what I mean? And a lot of people that do have somebody, they don't even understand that. I could get this person a paycheck. You know what I mean? You know, I remember one time, you know, one time my grandfather was in the hospital and uh, I had went in to see him and uh, he, he was in a car accident and I went in to see him and he said, he said, hey, man, he said, he said, give me a few dollars. I said, all right. I said, what you need? He said, just give me a couple ones. So I said, OK, I looked in my pocket. I probably had about, you know, five, six dollars in one dollar bills. And I said, uh, here you go. I said, what you going to do with it? You know, because he couldn't get up out of bed. I said, what, what you going to do with the money, Pop? He said, uh, you know, I'm going to give it to these, you know, these nice people that's coming in here. You know what I mean? Like the aides and the nurses and everybody that keep running in here for me. So I was like, what you mean? And he's like, you know, they helping me out. I want to be able to, you know, do something for them. And I was like, you know, these little one or two dollars that you got, I'm going to give you. They ain't going to change nobody's life. But... The fact of the matter is he realized something that I didn't, you know, more people will be willing to help you. Dr. Brown, how you doing today? More people will be willing to help you if they was getting paid. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard for me to concentrate on helping you if my finances is jacked up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Doc Brown, I appreciate all the uh, all the interested direct care workers that you sent our way. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people who probably thanking you for giving them a, a opportunity to earn some spare change, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's a lot of people who like who like working, a lot of people who like taking care of other people. You know, it's a lot of people who's like retirement age, you know what I mean? A lot of baby boomers, they're saying, hey, KC, this is an excellent job for me. You know, if you're one of those people, you're not quite ready to uh, hit the couch, you retire, but you you like, hey, I ain't, I ain't down with just sitting on the couch, I want to do something extra, you know? Let's put a couple dollars in your pocket and let's really do something meaningful like help somebody else. You know what I mean? Can't get no better than that. Miss Ludia, how you doing today? So I just want to say, you know, if you with me, hashtag live. If you with me, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, give me some thumbs. Give me some Facebook love. 
what I really need you to do, what I really, really, really need you to do, I'm going to need you to share this so everybody can understand, you know what I mean, the, 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 uh, the severity of the matter. You know what I mean? My mom told me, you know, when my mom was alive, we talked a lot. And she said, look, KC, you know, you got to get your money right. She said, Christmas comes the same day every year. And if you ain't prepared, you know what it is. I ain't got to tell you the rest because Santa ain't coming. You feel me? <laughs> so look, man, get on your A game. If your mother, your father, your loved one has Medicaid and they're in a long-term health care program, they qualify for a paid A. Call me right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hire you to take care of them and put the paycheck in your pocket. You know what I mean? No more... You know, scrounging, you know what I mean? No more, uh, how we gonna eat? No more, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stay home or take another sick day in order to take care of mom, dad, your loved one, you know what I mean? Stay home and get paid. Stay home and get paid. Wow, I, I think that, I, I could do a whole show on that. Stay home and get paid, you know what I mean? Listen, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is a bad thing. You know, we doing this just to get our blessings, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I got to go. Pop looking at me. You know, it's dialysis trip. You know what I mean? And uh, guess who's the driver? All right. Look, I love y'all. Be safe. Catch you tomorrow.